Shadow with Q102. And I'm Jason with Brown Derby. And this is Drinking 101. We got Easter Sunday coming up, um, and nothing says Easter Sunday like drinking lots of wine and eating food. Yeah. In the name of the Lord. Amen. I, uh, yeah, you need, and you need to make sure that you have uh, the right wine mm -hmm. for whatever occasion that you're going to do it with. What do, mostly, what do people mostly serve on Easter Sunday? So the classic uh, food pairing or the food course is usually ham or lamb. Ham or lamb. Uh, although I've heard people do roasts or rib roasts and that kind of stuff. Uh, and we have kind of depending on which way you're going to go. If you're going to do ham, we've got uh, a Pinot Noir. If you're going to do lamb, we've got a Chilean Cabernet. So just kind of depending on where you go. Um, usually, though, I love to start off Easter um, with Drinking. a, uh, well, yes, ironically enough, but I uh, start off usually with a morning rosé. Um, a morning rosé? Oh, absolutely. So by like 10 a.m. you're... Oh, by 10 a.m. The, the Bloody Marys are down and then I'm okay. opening the bottle of the uh, morning rosé, you know, to get you to noon. Who would have thought Jason knows how to celebrate Easter something fierce? Oh, substitute Easter for Arbor Day and uh, I have the same kind what of... It's Arbor Day. I don't know. <laughs> Just, saying. just another day to drink. Just a holiday. Okay, okay. So, uh, what we have here, this is actually a relatively new wine to our store, and you've heard us talk about this on Drinking 101 in the past. Uh, Rosés are big, and kind of like the seasonal beer. And they're pretty. They are. Uh, the seasonal beer business, if you're not if you're not making a rosé in the wine industry, you're, you're leaving money on the table, and you're not doing something right. Uh, and they're actually the... the direct result of that the consumer is winning because better rosés are being made than they were 10 years ago. If I say rosé, you usually think white zin, you usually think something sweet. Mm -hmm. This is the opposite of that. These are dry, crisp, they're great food wines, high acid, um, and the consumer is, is, the, is reaping the dividends because they're very, very good. So what does like a bottle like this go for? So all these bottles on the table are under $20. So okay. you're not breaking the bank. You can spend your money on your on your ham or your lamb. Um, this or one, dessert. Or dessert. This one happens to be uh, on sale for $17.97. This is an Oregon mm. uh, Pinot Noir Rosé, Ella Juan. Good. And you can tell Shadow likes it because I haven't even tasted it yet and she's done. He's swirling and sniffing and doing the wine tasting thing. I'm just drinking. So I'm already pouring the next wine. You're actually pouring out a turn, but that's okay. I'm pouring out a turn? Yeah, so we're going to do this, 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 oh, this. Shoot. But that's all right. We're going to improvise. Don't worry, I'll slam this. You can, you can start on yours. No, no. Okay. I was still on the ham side of things, not the lamb side of things. All right. So, we're going to call an audible. As you can tell, we rehearsed this. <laughs> we're professionals at drinking 101. That's right. So. So. Oh, I should probably swirl. And... Angel's Landing is a uh, Sonoma Coast Pinot Noir. Again, Pinos. under, under uh, $20. And um, it is... Divine, and it works so great with ham because divine. it's a lighter. Oh, I love that's this a, wine. That's a that's a hefty wine word, divine. Well, you're not even picking up on it. Angels Landing, Divine uh, Easter. Come on, uh, come on, work with me, people. Let's let's go. Uh, Jason, if we were in a live studio audience, people would be rolling right now. I know, I know. <laughs> rolling right out the door. <laughs> All right, Angels Landing. Ham and Pinot work so well. Ham is a lighter meat. Pinot was a lighter wine. Ooh. Neither of them overpower the other. That is delicious. Yes, that is divine. It's divine. You were correct. No, great cherry notes, very light, not over the top. Um, oh, that is so good. Every time I drink this particular wine, I forget how good it is, and I'm angry that I don't drink it more often, honestly. It's not too, you know, if, if you like reds, it's just, a, it's not too dry no. and in your face. It's, it's not tannic. It is dry red, um, but it is not overly dry. Yeah. Um, it's got good fruit to it. And again, for $17.96 on sale, I think it's a steal. Okay, I'm not going to go reaching for bottles now, so I'm going to let you lead the way. So, Apparently, when I start grabbing bottles, I ruin everything. The whole show is ruined. The whole show is terrible. It's ruined. Terrible. So, usually I like to do, when we're doing ham, uh, I'll do a Riesling as well, not maybe necessarily with the ham, 
but with kind of the accoutrements that go on the side. Mm -hmm. So a little bit of your vegetables, your salad, maybe you're doing some beans, um, green Acc beans. Accoutrement? What? Isn't that the word? Accoutrement. I'm not questioning you. You're just tossing out some some really good words during this drinking hey, 101. It's Easter. It's it's you know we want to we want to bring our A game. So that's but, sparkly. But what I'm a little bit actually paying attention to is that this isn't overly sweet. This is a cabinet in style, and so as a result, um, it's not going to be as sweet as some Riesling. So you don't necessarily need to save it for dessert. It's not going to overpower your appetizers actually, or your fruits. Actually, you are correct. Because normally I'm not a Riesling girl. Yeah. And it's not it's not super sweet. No, it's it's quite dry, honestly. I didn't know Rieslings could be dry. So, we'll do a Riesling Q102 Drinking 101. I think that's a good idea. And we'll do the different styles of Riesling. Okay. Uh, and you can see some dry, and huh. you can see some quite sweet. Every time, Drinking 101, I, even I learn something new. That's what we do here. We're here to educate. We're like a public service. We are. Smith. We are. So. All I right. cannot keep up with you today. You are out of control. <laughs> Just feeling pretty good today, so. Yeah, that's right. I understand you had Actually, lunch in the deli. I did have lunch in the deli. How was it? Awesome. I had, and I don't know how to pronounce it. It's the menus behind me, so that's where the I'm going. The ba mi. The ba mi. Yeah, the Vietnamese pork belly. Oh, yeah. so good. We had that on uh, Super Bowl Sunday. You made those little sliders, and ever right. since then. So what's this last one? So this is a Chilean Cabernet, and with lamb, your lamb can be a little gamey. Uh, it's a little can. bigger meat. Um, so you're going to want a little bit bigger wine than, say, Pinot Noir. And I've never made lamb before. I actually never have eaten it. I've eaten it. I don't I think I've eaten it. I enjoy good lamb. But I've never made it. Um, so, and this is really one of those that we just got a great price on. It's under 8 bucks. Yeah. That's good. I like it. So. All right. Well, that really works. Well, you know, Easter Sunday coming up. You want to serve some wines with it? These are all great choices. Of course, you can walk into Brown Derby and say, what's going to go with, insert what you're cooking here. Try and it. they can lead you in the right direction. Um, or any Brown Derby for that matter. So, cheers. Cheers.